for it. Uh, cool, yeah, he was long and rangy, so it was hard, kind of, every time I was putting pressure on him, he was kind of catching me sometimes, he was walking backwards, so it was difficult to kind of yeah. get on the inside where I'd be effective and, and start, you know, doing more my work. But, um, yeah, difficult, super strong kicks, like, you know, it was nice, especially when I was coming in, just hammering them body kicks as I was coming in, taking like a bit of a, a shot, it was a bit of a deterrent, but, um, yeah, no, it was good. I, I did feel him get like a bit tired towards the end, landed some nice knees. Um, yeah, and I was, I mean, I was, I was, you know, I was digging deep as well. But you know, my corner was just, I like, keep it on him, keep it on him. So I kept it on him, and uh, yeah, and got, then got the finish just with you know nice repetitive strikes, landed some nice shots on him. Just went in round one where the ref was looking to jump in. Uh, oh, really? I think he looked like you, you know you caught him a couple of times and then yeah. obviously finished him off um, in the round two. But um, I mean, it, it was, is that something you're working on, like kind of uh, striking or? Uh, well, st striking's where it's out for me. I love striking. I've been striking for a while and. Um, yeah, stri striking's where it's at for me, so I, I love keeping the fight standing. If it goes to the ground, I'm also fine with that, but, you know, if you want to if you want to kickbox with me, you know, so uh, I love that, so, yeah. So is that your background, kickboxing? Yeah, I started out in Muay Thai, um, did like a fair bit of freestyle kickboxing up at uni, um, came back and then just started drilling, like, lost a when I got back, so, uh, but yeah, no, striking's where it's always kind of been at for me. There's something about just, you know, knocking someone out of the, you know, your hands and your feet and your knees, it's just... Oh, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> um, so going forward now, have you got anything else planned, or is it a bit of a rest and then work out your options? No, I'm uh, 20th of April fighting for Victory Fights Amateur Flyweight, uh, Amateur Featherweight Title. Okay. Um, not sure what I've got after that, but you know that would have been that one and this one kind of back to back. So I'll probably take a little bit of a rest of that and come back maybe. So where's that fight? Sorry, that's uh, Victory Fights in Brighton. Brighton. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So bit of a bit of a mission away, but. Uh, but yeah, no, we'll be, uh, we'll be going to fall there, back, fall back on there back in November. So I got a nice finish there, and they asked me to come back for the, for the featherweight title, so. Um, Long-term plans, look to turn pro? 100%, yeah, 100%. So Do you have an idea in mind when? Probably around this time next year. Yeah. So that uh, puts me at four and one now. So maybe get like a couple, maybe, between, maybe just, just under 10, 10, 10 amateur fights, I reckon. Yeah. And, then, uh, and then look to turn pro maybe around this time next year. Yeah. Before we go, um, do you want to shout out like, so, uh, social media so people can follow you and follow you? Cool, I'm not on Twitter. Um, uh, Harry, well, my Instagram's Harry W Shaw95. So yeah. just yeah, hit, yeah, hit me up on there. That's that's kind of my main source of social media at the moment. So and, uh, sponsors. Uh, yeah, I haven't got any sponsors yet. So, yeah. I mean, I haven't got any sponsors yet, but you know, I'm always looking for you know sponsorship opportunities. Um, yeah, I mean, just kind of hit me up through email is harry underscore shaw 95 at outlook.com. So if any kind of sponsors from you see this interview want to, want to you know, look to sponsor me, I'll be grateful. So, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Nice one. Well, Thanks very Cheers. much. Cheers. Thank you.